In the olden days of Commander, back when the game was still in its early stages and the game was still called Elder Dragon Highlander, you could only run one of the five Elder Dragons from Legends. First printed in 1994, the cards were surprisingly affordable if you didn't mind picking up the white-bordered versions reprinted in Chronicles. Since all five of the Elder Dragons were 7-7s, seven the idea came about that if you got hit in the face three times by the same commander and didn't have a response, you should just lose the game. And that's where we get the 21 commander damage as a possible win con. I thought it would be fun to build a commander deck based around that idea. Smacking each opponent in the face three times. No pump, no extra damage, no auras, no equipment. Just good old-fashioned magic as Richard Garfield and Sheldon Mennery intended. So I built a deck using a ton of extra combats and extra turns. Since extra combat is mostly a red ability, and extra turns are mostly blue spells, that left me with one choice. Nicol Bolas. Nicol Bolas, like all Elder Dragons, is an 8-mana 7-7 seven, seven legendary dragon with an upkeep of blue, black, and red. Additionally, whenever you deal combat damage to an opponent with him, that opponent discards their hand. So what do we want our deck to do? We only have one win con, our commander. So we need to make sure he's protected at all times. Most extra turn spells as well as our commander have a relatively high mana value, so we'll want to go heavy on the ramp. We also want to dig through our deck to find cards, so we'll be looking at running some tutors as well. And since tutors and extra turn spells aren't exactly budget, we won't worry about a budget for this deck, other than $50 per card. With that in mind, let's keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, though this deck will probably go higher. 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden eye win card. Let's start with our ramp package. For mana rocks, we've got Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, the 3 Talismans, the 3 Guild Signets, Chromatic Lantern, War Power Stone, Thrawn Dynamo, and Mind Stone. We're also running Jaya Ballad as both Mana Ramp and Looting alongside Solemn Simulacra. Our rituals consist of Dark Ritual, Mana Geyser, Jessica's Will, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, and Seething Song. Those will become important later on and there's a good reason why I've included so many. Because we've got so much Mana Ramp, I decided to go with only 36 lands. That may seem a little light, but we don't have a way to play more than one land per turn other than Sad Robot, and we have enough card draw that we shouldn't miss our land drops. We've got Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Crumbling Necropolis, Bajuka Bog as our first piece of Graveyard Hate, Shocks, Checks, Bond Lands, Slow Lands, 10 Islands, 3 Swamps, and 7 Mountains. To dig through our deck, we've got Windfall, Rhystic Study, Frantic Search, Imposing Grandeur, Brainstorm, Wheel of Misfortune, Pull from Tomorrow, and Siphon Mind. For Tutors, we're running Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, and Mystic Tutor. To help clear the board, we're running Toxic Deluge, Cyclonic Rift, and Blasphemous Act. We're also running a copy of Nevenerals Disc to reset Enchantment Heavy Decks. Our Counterspell package consists of Negate, Reinterpret, Counter Squall, and Arcane Denial. The rest of our spot removal is made up of a Braid, Terminate, Bedevil, Chaos Warp, Feed the Swarm, The Eldest Reborn, and Rakdos Charm, which serves as our second piece of Graveyard Hate. We also have a Bedlam to ensure nothing can block Bolas. Finally, Swift Foot Boots and Lightning Greaves to help keep our commander alive. Finally, we come to the core of our deck. For extra turns, we have Alchemist Scambit, Alrun's Epiphany, Beacon of Tomorrows, Expropriate, Karn's Temporal Sundering, Nexus of Fate, Temporal Manipulation, Time Stretch, Time Warp, and Walk the Aeons. We're also running a Teferi Master of Time as both card advantage and extra turns. I know that Planeswalkers rarely get to ultimate, but with this deck there's a good chance it'll happen, and I'll explain why in a second. For extra combat, we're running Seize the Day and Aggravated Assault. But the Sudden Eye win card in this deck is Thousand Year Storm. This deck is not Spellslinger by any means, but Thousand Year Storm will be the card you want to tutor for most often. If all you do is cast a Ritual followed up by a turn spell, you now have two extra turns. This means if you attack the same player on this turn and your two additional turns, they die from commander damage. A tutor followed by a ritual followed by a turn spell can quite possibly win you the game. So let's take a look at our deck and see how it compares to our checklist. 56 mana sources, which is a little high, but six of those are rituals, so it's fine. 
10 pieces of card advantage, plus three tutors. 11 pieces of spot removal, counting counter spells. Four board wipes, two pieces of graveyard hate, and one sudden eye win card. So our deck checks all the boxes, but realistically, this is not a very strong deck. Strong decks tend to be fast and consistently win before turn seven. It is doubtful this deck will win that fast unless you get very lucky with your draws. However, once your combo is online, assuming you have some counter magic to stop your opponents from interfering, you should have the game locked down and winning should be easy. The problem is getting to that point. So practice with the deck, figure out if you need to make some adjustments for your local game store, and have fun beating people to death with Nicol Bolas. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. Please like and subscribe for more content. I post new Commander videos every Monday, or you can click here for more Commander content. Stay safe, and I'll see you all again next time on Musings by Danon.